let me start with uh, the program so go to right click on retail db go to new go to python file and then um, i am creating program name called uh, let me pick the program name it is nothing but revenue per product for month so for a given month i want to get revenue for each product okay so here i will start with the try catch block so that we also understand how 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 exceptions work so in this case if the import commands uh, have any issues while we try to import the uh, and the uh, classes uh, um, from PySpark. I want to catch the import uh, error exception, and then I want to print this message, and uh, I want to exit. Okay. So what I'm, uh, what we will be doing is we will just start with this try try catch block, and then first I want to import from PySpark import Spark context. Okay, and then as part of catch i will be just copying this sorry not catch except i'll be just copying this thing okay and then as we have to pass arguments we will be importing sys okay and also we'll be importing the config parser sorry in this case it has to be config parser i think uh, let me see okay this is the one import config parser so in this case i'm developing with 2.7 but uh, originally we want to do it with uh, 3 so let me change this program to 3 so the way we can change this to 3 at this time is i have to go to preferences here go to project interpreter and change it to 3 the reason why we have developed earlier with 2.7 is because i don't have 3.7 at the time now i have installed on my pc and when you go to 3.7 there are some changes to the packages uh, config parser is not available as part of uh, 3.7 out of the box we have to install plugin and the way you can install plugin is by going to command prompt okay if you have three already you just have to say pip in this case i have pip 3.7 install config parser as i have installed it will just come uh, say that requirement already satisfied once you import this once you change the interpreter here uh, as we have installed already from the back end it will be automatically registered with your pycharm you don't need to do anything uh, from here however if it is not working you can go to preferences work again and make sure you choose the uh, the version which you, uh, which you want to use and you should be able to see the packages which are installed with pip3 okay so that being said it will impact our existing program also which is this one so let me change it as well okay now if i go back here uh, once we uh, imported spark context this these things as we have already covered several times i am just copying uh, how to create uh, or how to load the properties with respect to config parcel and how to read the properties and also uh, creating the configuration object and also creating the spark context all these things i'll be copy pasting okay so here i also have to import spark context okay and here i have to say config parser as cp sorry, spark conf okay now you created the configuration object and spark context using this we should be able to read the data however as part of this program i i want to pass five arguments the first argument is input based directory for orders and order items and then second argument is output based directory okay and then third third argument is the local directory from uh, from which we want to uh, read the products and fourth argument is the uh, month using which we have to filter orders and then compute uh, revenue and then fifth one is environment okay and using that environment we are trying to you can see here we are trying to uh, get the execution mode from application dot properties and we want to run based upon the environment we pass if it is dev we will be running in local mode if it is prod we will be running in yarn client mode okay so that being said let me delete these things okay so first argument is input directory so I'm just uh, using the same names like input path here. Input path equal to sys dot argv of one. Okay, because uh, the first argument will be the program name itself. If you say argv of zero, it will give the program name. Uh, and then uh, the next one is the first argument which are passing the, to that program, which is nothing but input path. And then we have output path, which is nothing but second argument. And then uh, uh, we have month, which will be nothing but third argument. Okay now comes using hdfs apis okay so so far we are just using se.txt file and writing the uh, directory but if you want to handle the situations gracefully what if the directory which you are trying to pass as input path doesn't exist for whatever reason you should throw an exception or you should uh, 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 get out of the program gracefully um, uh, uh, rather than uh, uh, ending it abruptly okay so for that 
if you want to validate if the input directory uh, is valid or not or if the output directory already exists if you want to delete and replace with the new processed data in that case you need to uh, spend some time in understanding hdfs apis the reason is spark doesn't have a apis to uh, uh, to to perform io in the uh, on files it uses hdfs api so here let us spend some time on hdfs api so the location for hdfs api is nothing but org.apache.hadoop.fs okay if you search for this and uh, we can go to 2.7.1 version of this and it, it doesn't change much between 2.7 2.8 2.9 even if you go to 2.3 the APS doesn't change much. Okay. And this is the base package. Uh, so org.apache.hadoop.fs is the base package for the uh, performing IO um, in HDFS. Okay. And Spark uses these things internally. Even if you say sc.txt file, it will actually uh, use the, this class and a few other classes in this package to actually perform IO from the files. Okay. So in this, if you look at uh, all the classes that are available, somewhere it should give the class list. Okay, let me click on this. Yeah, the classes are here. You can see the list of classes that are available. So there is something called path. If you want to get uh, whether the path exists or not, you have to use this. Um, and then file system itself have so many APS. Uh, let me go to file system. And that is one of the very important uh, uh, class which uh, you will be using indirectly when i say indirectly uh, if you look at the aps here what you have copy to local copy from local uh, etc what does that mean if you connect to the lab or if you connect to any hadoop cluster so so far we are actually issuing commands like hadoop fs copy from local right to copy data from local file system into hdfs output it is nothing but run uh, invoking those aps uh, to copy the files so in this case hadoop fs is nothing but a java program and we are passing arguments to it and based upon the arguments uh, we are passing within the jvm whatever we are asking uh, uh, it to perform it is actually taking care of those things so it is actually executing the logic which is predefined as part of these apis okay that's what is happening okay so uh, if you actually understand this file system uh, apis and all those things if you want to customize with respect to uh, copying files into hdfs and all you can leverage these things and you can come up with uh, uh, solutions okay so to use these apis from python it is a bit tricky and unless we use these apis we will not be able to check whether the uh, uh, path really exists or not uh, if you want to delete the uh, exi uh, existing directory if the output uh, output directory already exists if you want to delete it and recreate it uh, while processing uh, then you have to use again uh, uh, the apis that are part of that package okay so to use this as part of python once we create spark context there is a object called gateway as part of gateway you can actually access um, all those apis that are part of the jvm that will be uh, used to run our spark jobs if you recollect uh, spark context is nothing but a uh, or the driver program uh, when we submit spark jobs is nothing but a jvm and that jvm will have exposure to all the apis that are required to run the spark job successfully so we are trying to access those classes which are being used here okay uh, by using sc.gateway and then we can access everything that is part of the jvm and in this we have org.apache.hadoop.fs. Path. I think there is some issue here. Let me check. Okay, it should uh, actually uh, uh, auto fill, but for some reason it did not. That's fine. Now we, I want to expose file system also from this. It is nothing but sc dot underscore gateway and then JVM and within that we have org, we have Apache, we have Hadoop, we have FS. Okay, and then we have file system. On top of these things, we also need to expose configuration. It is also part of the same package. So let me copy this. Only thing is configuration is not part of fs it is uh, 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 one one level higher and it is under conf here and i want to expose this as also so using this uh, file system path and configuration now we can do um, uh, or we can manage files uh, or we can validate the paths etc that being said let me create a file system object here by saying fs equal to file system dot get configuration okay so in this case i'm invoking configuration uh constructor which will give us the hdfs configuration so, so far let us see whether this will run or not so i am just running it will fail and then we have to pass the arguments okay 
okay it seems to be running fine there are no okay the reason why it is uh, uh, working is i think because it's in uh, try catch block and we um, uh, uh, we are just passing to sys dot exit one that's why it is successful let us see okay so um, i need to pass one more argument in between which is nothing but the uh, local directory so let me define that also local directory equal to sys dot argv of four uh, i'll be using this a bit later and then i can go to run go to edit configuration okay actually uh, i when i ran last time i think it remembered those uh, arguments here okay that's why i think it worked fine so we will be validating very soon uh, so don't worry too much uh, about it uh, so far i think it is working fine but we will see if it if there's any exceptions we will try to uh, figure out those things now as you create the file system object by saying fs equal to file system dot get of configuration so here we are actually passing the hdfs configuration and uh, building the file system object okay this is how uh, in python uh, in pyspark you can create file system object so this fs is of type file system object and uh, uh, now this object have apis such as exists so that you can actually go here and uh, go to file system okay get returns the file system object and you can see an api called exists so if you want to check whether the path exists or not you can actually use this api okay and the way you can develop is you can say uh, if fs dot exists okay path input path because the input path is after string okay but fs dot exists expects the path object the way you can convert the string into path object is by passing the string which holds that path uh, to constructor path and it will create the path object if it exists I think there is one additional bracket yeah okay let me try once again if fs dot exists path of or not fs input path if that is the case uh, okay in this case i just want to come check whether it exists or not if it doesn't exist i don't want to do anything i just want to print input path does not exist and move on okay else if it doesn't uh, if if the path does exist then only i want to process the data so first i am checking whether input path exists or not if it doesn't exist i am just exiting from the program okay uh, else i am actually uh, going ahead and processing the data so first thing i want to do uh, before processing the data is if output path already exists then i want to delete okay so the way it can be done is again you can say fs dot exists in this case i want to build the uh, path object for output path by passing the, uh, the path as string it means if it is there then i want to delete it so again on the file system object which is fs there is a ap called delete using that by passing path if the output directory already exists i just want to delete instead of deleting if you want to give a unique directory uh, by concatenating with the timestamp or something you can do so you can also use save as text file itself and as part of the save as text file also you can actually concatenate the uh, uh, concatenate the directory but using save as text file you will not be able to uh, overwrite uh, probably with the latest version they might have changed uh, let us see so in this case i am launching pyspark master yarn on spark.ui.port equal to 12967 some five digit number okay and i want to export pyspark underscore python to 3.6 also if you want to use spark 2 uh, unless you set the uh, profile uh, unless you set this environment variable in profile you might have to run this because we have two versions of spark in the lab so it's better to specify this and then launch it has to be python 3.6 not just 3.6 so in this case i just want to see a help on uh, uh, save as text file after creating the rdd and uh, if it will facilitate us to overwrite the directory if it already have that api then we don't need to worry about deleting uh, using the hdfs apis like this okay so in this case i'm saying orders equal to sc dot text file so i'm creating a rdd quickly uh, public retail db orders and then help orders dot save as text file and hit enter okay and uh, if you see it only have the path and compression codec so it doesn't have apis to actually override the directory okay but if you go to um, uh, data frames i think data frames have uh, ability to overwrite let us validate that also real quick so orders equal to spark dot read dot json well, next week we'll be starting on data frames and all those things so you will be understanding these things in detail for now i just want to see uh, if they have made any uh, improvements on managing the directories okay 
so public retail db json and then orders it will just take a moment and then you can say help orders dot write dot json because uh, write is the package which will be using and it have functions like json to write into and here there's path there is a mode i think as part of the mode you can actually append overwrite and all those things so using data frames you have those apis that are required but if you want to use core apis then the only way you can manage the directories is by using underlying uh, hdfs api so in this case using fs dot delete i need to pass the um, uh, path object uh, uh, that is built using string output path and also we have to pass true here the reason why we have to do it is if you look at the api uh, delete it takes uh, uh, two arguments one is uh, path and second one is whether you want to delete it recursively or not and in this case i want to delete it recursively that's why i am passing true here okay so first we are cleaning up if the output directory already exists uh, and hence even if the output directory exists it will not fail anymore.